All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Rob here at Smirking Gun Reviews, back with more Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1. We're up to episode 12. We've just passed the halfway point, and this episode is called Seeds. So, full spoilers if you have not seen this episode. So, another kind of good standalone with a little bit of character and a little bit of, you know, uh, extended mythology stuff here. Uh, what's really cool about this one is, well... Fitz and Simmons get to go back to college, well, S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent school, agency school. Um, Ward gets to come with, and uh, Sky goes too. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Coulson and May go off on their own little mission, and both things are pretty, pretty good. This is a pretty good episode as far as, like, uh, standalone episodes kind of go. Um, and, I, I mean, it's it's a standalone episode in the way that I think of a standalone episode, kind of like a... It, kind of furthers the mythology but mostly deals with a little story uh a kind of a contained story uh with just good characterization and our characters get to grow a little bit more but what's cool in this is uh, a couple of the guest stars in this uh, one is uh david no no daniel zavato um and uh dylan minette both of those guys were in uh don't breathe uh dylan was in 13 reasons why is the main guy uh, in that, why can't I, why can't I remember the kid's name from 13 Reasons Why? Like, what is that, what his character's name was? Um, but these are both just pretty up and coming guys. I think, uh, that, uh, Daniel was in that Here and Now show on HBO. He's been in a bunch of stuff. He was in It Follows. Um, so I like seeing, uh, young actors that are getting bigger now, like, show up in these shows. I love catching any kind of, like, uh, someone that you can trace back to something else that you didn't re remember them being in, um, but they both do a pretty good job here. They they they're look they're they're guest stars in a bigger show, you know, a show that's bigger than them, you know. Um, we also get some more of David Conrad as Ian Quinn, who I just love, man. He reminds me of another actor, the one from Dollhouse and Battlestar Galactica, uh, who. Uh, wow, I'm really bad with names tonight. The, the the FBI agent from Dollhouse that was always trying to find uh, Eliza Dushku in the whole Dollhouse place, and then in Battlestar he was he was one of the not replicants. Oh wow! You know what? I'm getting we're going way down a rabbit hole. We should be talking about <laughs> we should be talking about the episode. So uh, kind of like I thought for a second I was watching Thirteen Reasons Why because I saw the actor and I'm like, wait, what is did I accidentally click on 13 Reasons Why and not on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I mean, I really thought that. And then it got really weird. And I thought, because like, they're in this pool and the pool starts freezing up. I'm like, am I watching the X-Files? Um, so, I, you know, uh, this had a lot of cool things about it. It wasn't just an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. It was kind of an homage to other things. Because um, the whole episode is kind of dealing with, uh, well... The technology that can be uh, used wrong in the young shield agent's hands um but yeah they get out and you know they the one kid almost gets his leg taken and you know looking at it now after the episode's over i could have seen i saw the foreshadowing early like the two kids looking at each other you think oh maybe they don't like each other it's like no they're you know in on it together um and i had forgotten like what this how this episode was going to turn out but the whole incident at the pool, uh, because they used something that Fitz used um, or made, they need to go to the school and they got to talk to the students and try to investigate and find out who did this. Uh, and Ward and Sky go with, uh, you know, to help out. And I, I love this whole thing because it's just, they've got the great stuff with Ward and like the line from Fitz when they're like talking about how young he looks and he's just really really like blasts them <laughs> with his like we're all gonna be old hags shriveled old hags and he just says it in such a fun way like I just love that like yeah I mean I if I shave I look like a kid well an older kid <laughs> but, and so I know what he's talking about, but I love that line, the way he delivered it. I also love Ward caring about, like, 
the situation like, hey, Fitz, why don't you go help the kid out and everything. And everybody kind of giving him a hard time. And again, it's just staring me up inside that Ward and them were all like, it's like, ugh. How many more episodes until this all goes to hell? Because <laughs> I can't take it. I like Ward. I really like Ward. Um, but then they, you know, they uh, they go to give their speech in front of the class, and it's really cheesy. But I mean, it's when you're in the same company, you know, you don't mind it. I mean, this guy's looking around like Jesus Christ. These guys are like rock stars in this place. Um, but then the kid that saved the other kid from the uh, in the pool, he's now attacked, and he gets completely frozen over. And, you know, so it looks like somebody there, somebody there is trying to take people out. Um, they go to the, what looks like the, the, the shield version of the bronze, <laughs> I guess, uh, from Buffy. Uh, and that's pretty cool. I like that, you know, they, Ward gets to see that the nerds also have like a, you know, a, a wild side to them. I just, I, I love the, the the way that they've made Fitz and Simmons just, not just a team, not just people that you want to see put together, but just, they're just fun people. They're great, just, their banter is always so just boom, 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 boom. Like you, like we've seen these people their, their whole lives and instead of just 12 episodes of television. Um, and Fitz does go and talk to the kid and you get this really nice, you know, mentor, mentee thing. And... Then it all goes to hell because Fitz is leaving and what they discover is that they caused the attacks. The two students caused the attacks. They weren't, you know, trying to do anything. And it was a pretty good plan because to think about it like that, they, they had to think of something. If they were going to get Fitz to come back to the school, they needed to you to think of something well, maybe it's not. It's maybe it's just really convenient that they were making something that used Fitz's technology, and they had to screw it up on purpose so that Fitz would come back. Okay, and I think that's pretty smart. That's a clever way of doing it, and then just trying to play it off like nobody knows. Like you're a victim. You're not. You, if somebody's attacking you, you know, you can't be the ones that did it. So they try to, you know, get blame off themselves pretty quickly. And it doesn't work out, but I gotta give it to him. It's kind of a clever plan as far as getting what you wanted because that's the other thing is they're using S.H.I.E.L.D. to sell their new technology to Ian Quinn who is just <laughs> on the plane drinking just, hey guys, you know, like, what's going on? Impress me, you know, but like, he doesn't intend, he doesn't care. Like, we can see that he doesn't care, but these kids... Just they are so wide-eyed and so like, oh, I want to, you know, we're gonna be big, we're gonna make all this money, and he is just, yeah, 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 sure, 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 whatever. Like, I mean, he's just great. I like this guy a lot. He's, I mean, for a bad guy, he's pretty fun. Um, and so they get kind of left high and dry, though. They think it doesn't work, but their machine ends up ends up causing this like crazy superstorm. Now, while this has all been going on. Colson and May are down in Mexico trying to track down somebody who knows where Sky came from. And when they do, they, there's a nice little fight with May. Uh, her telling Colson about her and Ward. Uh, Colson, you know, this coming off of Colson talking about how, uh, you know, he doesn't want any more secrets and all this stuff. And, you know, just there's more and more things kind of peeling back after uh he found out what happened to him and so now there's all this distrust with shield and it's got it's perfectly timed for colson to have this kind of crisis of faith about his the people that he you know that run shield because the winter soldier is about to come out and things are about to explode so i love that those little details that they use to sprinkle in so that when the eventual fall of shield happens our characters at least our major ones have kind of been getting unintentionally prepared for the fallout. I like that, that they planned that ad. I connected it to the MCU in that way. Um, but then, you know, you find out this whole story that, you know, in China they found this girl covered in blood. They thought it was a baby. They need to protect her. They said she had powers um, that nobody else experienced. But 
you know, these shield, two shield agents have been protecting this girl for a really long time and then finally and moving her from foster parent to foster parent to foster parent because apparently she is under high demand and if she has powers, I can see why. Um, but the guy tells him, you know, like, you guys got to stay away from her because she's, you know, wherever she goes, people are basically trying to will kill you for to find her. Um, and that's another cool, interesting, like, beginning story that, you know, is going to get broadened out huge uh, later on. Well, once they find that out and May and him decide that they're not going to tell Sky, which means somebody's going to tell Sky. Um, <laughs> Uh, they get back to the main story, which is them trying to figure out how to stop the superstorm. Uh, the one kid gets zapped by lightning and dies. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, the effect is just, I don't know, I would like a little bit more of an explanation. This thing coughs up some smoke that just kind of goes and disappears. And then, and it's not big. It just barely reaches above the lid. And then all of a sudden there's this fucking huge storm. Uh, I love this shot, though, even though it's just a, a special effect. Um, but anyway, it's just mo it's just TV show stuff, so you kind of have to just go, whatever, it's a giant storm machine, fine. Because <laughs> it's not done terrible, I just don't want to, if you look too hard, you're going to find all the cracks. Um, so, May slide, you know, goes over the top of the storm, as you can see here, and brings the thing in all over and takes them out of there, and then... It's when you find out that Ian Quinn, he bailed on these guys, let the one kid die, and now the other kid's, you know, screwed up for a while. He's going to be screwed up. Um, but then at the end, you find out that he's got ice powers. And I don't remember if they ever go back to this story. Um, I want to say, I'm, I am 50-50 on this. I am not 100% sure I remember an episode where that guy comes back in some fashion. Um... Part of me says I didn't. Part of me says, of course you did. So I'm conf <laughs> But I'm not going to go skip ahead and try to find out. But uh, if they do bring it back, it would be interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to that. And then Sky getting told by Coulson, you know, getting the whole thing about secrets and all that stuff out of the way in her. I love as he's telling her the truth and his voice starts to quiet and then that music cue kicks in and there's just something about all the different things that were happening while they, during that score that I just really liked. Just starting out with this kind of wrecking somebody with bad news <clears throat> to just seeing all these other things going on and then ending it with the kid with the ice. I, I really, really like this episode. This is probably... Like, as far as, like, standalone episodes go, as far as, you know, not just big S.H.I.E.L.D., you know, versus the world episodes, this is a good, this is a really good one. This is a standout one to me, just because it does make it personal, and I do like the acting. And even though the idea of the weather machine is pretty stupid, and it looks like a giant coffee maker, um, <laughs> it's still fun. You get good stuff from everybody, good lines in here, just total Josh Whedon type stuff. So, that's it. That's Seeds. Uh, the kids go, you know, yeah, I already explained everything, so I think we're all caught up. Just that she, uh, Coulson is really on the fence about trust and shield right now. So anyway, that's it. So <laughs> to get to the next one, uh, if you like this review, please hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Otherwise, this is Robert Smirking interview saying uh, we're going to have uh, Avengers Age of Ultron review up tonight um, and possibly another Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Otherwise, um, I, I know I've stopped doing the passage. I plan on doing kind of a, a finale, uh, whatever, whenever the, however many episodes this uh, that show has for the first season. I plan on doing like a finale review uh, for the first season just because uh, I've been busy on Monday nights trying to jam in a lot of stuff, and unfortunately the passage is kind of uh, taking a hit there. So, oh well. Uh, we will get to it eventually. Um, and that's it. So uh, we did post the Walking Dead review. For the near, their newest episode, Walking God Season 2 premiere uh, episode review is up as well. So anyway, this is Robin Smirking and Reviews saying thanks for all the support. There's lots of stuff to watch if you want to, and take it easy. Bye. <laughs>